Karuk people are now called Karuks, but uh, we refer to ourselves as Ithivthanen Achip Arars, and that's center of the world people, because we live in the center of our world. This is where we do our ceremonies, like it was passed down to us from the beginning of time. They couldn't be done anywhere else. It's a land-based religion. Fish is part of that. We have a spring and a fall run, and we have a 10-day ceremony for both runs. The fish kill happened in 2002. The Yurok people had just finished up our world renewal ceremony. Uh, we decided, well, let's take a canoe ride, you know, in one of our traditional canoes. It'll be nice. We went out there in the boat, and we just started seeing all these dead fish floating down the river. And after having such a heavy experience at the dances and feeling good about what we had done and prayed for, to see our world falling apart and the fish dying is really traumatic. There's just this sense of death, you know, for our people, like the salmon. There are people. We've been working on the issues surrounding dam removal for the last 10 years with our allies and our friends far and wide. Our prayers will be heard. Through our ceremonies, we give thanks to the fish. The fish come back here to give themselves in honor to the people. And uh, this is what they came back to. Those are our close relations right there. It hit hard. It hit hard and it hit everybody really hard. People here haven't ever tolerated destruction and so that's when the people started making waves. because it reminds us that we're all interdependent on one another. It reminds people in this community to come together and build a symbol to depict the struggle that we all are in together and that uh, emphasizes our interdependence on one another and our interdependence with the salmon, our interdependence with the water and the fire and the people, peoples throughout the world that we all have this common responsibility to take care of one another and to take care of all of our relations. The vision of this place is just to be this community spot where people come to connect and trade their art and food and their lives with each other here in a positive way. We felt like it was important for people on the river to start trading again. The indigenous people here always traded. The Yurok's would have good food from the coast and they'd bring it up and the Karuks would trade their acorns and the foods that grew up here. I mean, trade was always part of the life on this river. On one side of the mural is addressing kind of the apocalyptic view of what's happened to us and on uh, the right side of the mural is more of a vision of what it could be when the dams come down and so I think it's a really powerful image when we have our dancers and they're kind of dancing that dam down they're stomping it down and the water's rushing in and um, bringing life back to us <laughs> 